our video about LinkedIn, then you'll understand the importance of having a really good online professional profile so that people can find out more about you and your research or work. But what if you want to have a social media platform that gives you a similar experience but is just for academics? In this video we'll cover two competing platforms that do similar and very different things, academia.edu and researchgate. Now, do not be fooled by the .edu web address that academia.edu uses as it is definitely a for-profit enterprise, but then so is Facebook and LinkedIn, so there's no real difference there. But as these videos are about trying to give you knowledge so you can make informed decisions, I wanted to mention it. Academia.edu lets you build a profile with the usual picture and contact details, but it also encourages you to list your academic affiliations, as well as listing things like your research interests. By putting these interests in, Academia.edu allows you to tap into other people's research on the site, as well as getting involved in conversations and making connections. You can upload papers or links to things that you have published, which is quite handy too. However, Academia.edu has not been without its controversies. If you use it as a simple profile page to promote what you do, then you shouldn't have any issues. But there has been confusion with uploading of papers and other research activities on Academia.edu. What should be remembered is that this is a for-profit outfit, and so you should be really careful about what you share on the website, just as you should be careful with what original content you upload on services such as Facebook and Instagram. Who owns what can get very complicated very quickly. In addition, there has been some confusion about self-archiving for open access purposes. Some open access publishing models allow authors to host a free print version of their paper on a repository of their choice for quick access by other researchers. However, to meet funder requirements, this hosting has to be in a recognised space and Academia.edu is not one of those spaces. So if in doubt, deposit your preprint on your institutional repository. The University of Cambridge's Apollo repository is a perfect example of this, and then you've ticked your funder requirement boxes. Plus, many publishers specify where they're happy with you hosting your preprint, so double check that you're not breaching your contract with them too. So Academia.edu is a great social media platform, but use it carefully. And be sure not to post anything that might get you into hot water with your publisher or funder further down the line. ResearchGate is another academic focused social media platform and much like Academia.edu, it is a for-profit outfit. It does much the same sort of thing as Academia.edu with getting you to set up a profile, allowing you to connect with other researchers, declare your areas of interest and upload papers. However, ResearchGate has been reported in many reviews as being the more interactive of the two platforms with discussion functionalities allowing for researchers to ask questions to the wider community and get interesting answers back. ResearchGate also has a full text article request function, so if you haven't uploaded a piece of research directly onto the site for whatever reason, another user can get in touch and ask for a copy. This is perhaps a much safer way of sharing research openly if you are restricted by a publisher contract. Academics at Cambridge University use both platforms and Jaideep Prabhu at Cambridge Judge Business School spoke to the library team there about his use of the platform. Check out the podcast through the link here and in the description. Whichever platform you end up using, if any at all, do remember that both are for-profit ventures, so be sure to switch off any email settings as people have complained about being bombarded by both platforms with promotional emails in the past. Tread carefully with what you upload, but also do take full advantage of the contacts, networks and resources that you can have access to through these services. So go and explore and we'll see you next time.